Trump speaks out on Melania's absence during New Year's message. The former president confirmed that the former first lady's mother is very ill. Former President Donald Trump confirmed that his wife Melania's mother is very ill and that it forced the former first lady to skip New Year's Eve celebrations over the weekend. During an event at Mar-a-Lago, in Palm Beach, Florida, the former president told a crowd that hopefully she'll be recovering, adding that he had spoken with Melania, who is at a hospital with her mother, according to video footage of the event. It's a tough one, a very tough one, President Trump said, adding that she knows about 95% of the people in this room and ascends her love. We are going to have a great year. Our country has gone to hell and we're going to turn it around, we're going to turn it around pretty quickly, President Trump said during his Mar-a-Lago speech on December. 31. We're going to have a great 2024, we're going to make America great again. There had been speculation about the former first lady after she did not appear in a recent holiday photo of the Trump family that was posted to Instagram by Donald Trump Jr. as fiancé, Kimberly Guilfoyle, one day after Christmas. Melania's father, Victor Navs, was in the photo. The photo also included President Trump, Donald Trump Jr., Ms. Guilfoyle, Baron Trump, Tiffany Trump and her husband Michael Boulis, and Ivanka Trump and her husband Jared Kushner. Mr. Kushner's and Ms. Trump's three children were also present. Since her husband left office in early 2021, Melania Trump has made few public appearances. She hasn't been at many of his campaign trail stops, and she hasn't attended his multiple court appearances in the past year. Last month, she gave a speech at a ceremony at the U.S. National Archives. You are American, Mrs. Trump, who was born in Slovenia, told newly naturalized American citizens at the National Archives event. Be a beacon of inspiration for your children and those who follow in your footsteps. May your journey continue to be filled with endless possibilities. And may your contributions enrich the fabric of this great nation. She also appeared alongside other former First Ladies during the funeral of former First Lady Rosalind Carter in late November. The Carter family said the former First Lady had specifically wanted Melania Trump to be invited to her funeral. My grandmother campaigned against and voted against some of their husbands, Jason Carter, one of the Carter's grandchildren, told news outlets. But she believed that there are some things that are more important than politics. She said sweet things about my mother, Chip Carter, the Carter's son, told the Washington Post about Mrs. Trump's attendance. She thanked us for getting an invitation and we thanked her for coming and I gave her a hug. In May, meanwhile, Mrs. Trump said she told Fox News that she fully supported her husband's 2024 bid for the White House, saying that she wants to restore hope for the future and leading America with love and strength. My husband achieved tremendous success in his first administration and he can lead us toward greatness and prosperity once again, she added. As for the former president, recent polls show that he has a significant lead over his Republican rivals for the presidency. An aggregate posted by RealClearPolitics shows that as of January 1, he's around 50 percentage points above former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley and Florida government. Ron DeSantis He faces felony charges in four jurisdictions, and a judge in Washington has set what could be his first trial date for March 4, one day before the crucial Super Tuesday nominating primaries. A court in Colorado and a main official this past week removed President Trump from ballots, setting up multiple avenues for an appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court.